we're gonna take a walk through old school boxing to interview some old of the, the people that uh, was at the fights this Saturday, this past Saturday to watch Dusty Harrison fight. We're gonna see what the, what their results are. We got we got Frankie right here. What you, what you think of the fights? Absolute, uh, absolutely loved it. I was so proud of, of what Dustin was able to accomplish. Um, like he said before in the post interview, it was the first time he's ever been put down, but he got up, he managed through it, he fought out of it just like a pro should. How how, does, how, how was that, seeing that as a fan, how how, how you feeling about that? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a little bit more of a fan. I mean, I, if, if, if you know me and you know my affiliation with old school, I, I consider Bud and Dust and T and Linda and, and all everybody else you want, yes, all y'all more like family. So it was more it was more like somebody hit a family member. So I was devastated, but I was even more Happy to see the way he responded to actually getting knocked down. So um, I know it's nothing but uphill from here on, and um, he's gonna train hard. He's gonna bounce back, and you, you will see the next professional world champion, hopefully yeah. in the sport of boxing. Actually, bounce back. He's gonna keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Not really bounce back. He didn't lose that fight. Exactly. <laughs> What's up, Juan Marshall, Pro-Am Fight Talk. Talk to the man that directly was in the <laughs> directly in the corner of this man, his father and trainer. So what's, what, what was your reaction to, with the last, the last round? Dead man walking, baby, dead man walking. Remind me of that damn movie, Thriller. Remember Michael Jackson? When they come out of the grave and came alive? Shit, coming after people, he did good. Uh, most people think I would take a, a lighter fight on the next one. Bullshit. He's taking a 10 round fight. No, my bad, my bad. It is eight rounds. This with a guy, Jose Ricardo, out of Mexico. We've already talked about it. We'll be for eight rounds. There's no sense stepping back. What the hell? He's either going to do it or he doesn't. Dead man walking, baby. Dead man walking. You have a chance to be at the fights. What you think about the fight? I thought, I thought Dusty did real good first five rounds. The guy couldn't touch him. Did real good. What you think about the sixth round? Sixth round was scary. It was scary. It was scary. I was what was your reaction to it? I was, I was shaking. I was. Everybody stood up. My friends and everybody stood up. Everybody was silent. I was shaking a little bit. I was like, come on, Dusty, pull through, pull through. But man, he's got the heart. You know, he got through it. He did well. He got through it. Here we go. Don't get sugar poo over here in that building over there. Oh, where is sugar poo? You get your butt right there. Let's go talk to Sugar Poo Buchanan. Henry Sugar Poo Buchanan, see what he's up to. Poo Bear. How you doing, sir? All right. Hey, you was at the fights. Let's give me, give me your thoughts on that fight, on wonderful. Dusty Harrison fight. I was wonderful. I um, really got my money's worth, even though uh, they took care of me, Keystone. And uh, Old School definitely took care of me, first class, everything. And uh, Dusty, man, and the rest of those guys, but mainly Dusty, man. He really gave me a show, man. He's the reason why I'm in the gym so early. I was up uh, 4 o'clock this morning getting in with a tribute to Dusty because it's some of the fact he showed tremendous heart, poise. Uh, the guy was tough because he hit him with every single thing that you could hit a man with except for a weapon. And uh, the guy, you know, was able to take some good punches, but I know he's feeling it now at home. Seriously. But uh, I think that fight was awesome, man. I really liked it. Dusty showed a lot of speed, a lot of punching power. And I'm really impressed. He made a believe out of me. I'm really impressed. As a veteran, what kind of advice you would get to Dusty in, in the next time he has a, a, a fight like that? Uh, the only thing I would say is, being as though he's a little young and all his fans and stuff was there, he does the same thing I did when I was 7 and 0. I try to knock everybody out. And that's what he tried to do. He tried to knock everything out, which is going to be awesome for him because the fans are going to love that. I would say as far as uh, strategy-wise, I would, you know, box a little bit, you know, wear the guy down a little bit. Let him get tired, then knock him out. But you know, you still have to try to knock him out early because you can catch a guy while he's cold and clip him early. So I really didn't see anything wrong with well, with his performance. I think he did an excellent job. He won every last round. So I mean, I just take my hat off, uh, hat off to him. I really didn't see anything wrong, honestly. Yeah. I couldn't have did any better. Yeah. There you have it. At old school boxing in with Sugar Pool. We're gonna come back with Sugar Pool with his own video uh, interview to let you guys know what's going on with him. Old school boxing. You don't want